up guys um, we're back with another update on the velo build Chinese carbon trail bike build um, today I'm gonna be filling you guys in on what's been going on because it's been a while since a video and uh, so we're, I'm gonna show you the frame uh, I've been paint prepping and painting it and seeing what I like and seeing what I want to do with it so I'm pretty much set on what I'm gonna do with it so I'll let you guys know in this video so here's the frame Here's the, uh, the gold on it. Um, as you can see, it's primer gray, and then it has the gold. I'm gonna do the rest pretty much black, but um, we'll see if we get that uh, get there today. I have to sand down this edge to make sure everything's like laying flat, and then I'm gonna paint black over, and uh, I have to mask it all off. And... Locked in my room, four black balls, tie the noose, no recall, no result, fuck with draw, red the shoe. Okay, so there it is. I um, just sanded down the down tube and repainted it in the gold. So you guys can have a look at that. There's still a few spots that I don't like. Like a few imperfections you can see. But that will do. I think it looks pretty good. But then I need to re-sand down these black chain stays. Get them all sanded down and then repaint them again. Um, they didn't turn out how I wanted them to and they didn't flash. Um, in California we get paint that doesn't flash as quick. So it's really hard to get a nice paint job out of a rattle can especially if you um, are not very good at it. So I also have also have the linkage which I have to tear off of this and it's all fuzzy but this didn't flash right and so I have to restart this and sand it all down again which I'm not too bummed about. What It wasn't that hard to it wasn't that hard to sand down but it's definitely got some drips and stuff in it so I gotta redo this, so pretty much redo all that and then um, get this finished up and um, get it ready to mask off so I can paint the rest of the frame black. Until I fall. Murder on call with the button. Twenty years in the same like a lifetime. I've been hanging every day from a lifeline. Body's fucking sailor than every night time. Smoke smoke and they don't want the fall, let me go. All right, what's up guys? Um, so we're back after those time lapses and we're now on to um, doing the paint splatter effect on the frame. So we're just getting the main part of the frame done right here. So the black is on, it's a uh, flat black, but we're gonna go over it with gloss clear enamel. So that'll be all glossy after, but we're gonna go get this, um, this metallic gold paint um, as you can see we used it on that as well a little linkage point right there okay so we're gonna use this to spray into a cup and then we're gonna use a paintbrush and we're gonna flick it onto the frame there's no like super like good way to do this it's just kind of you flick and you just throw it on there and make it look unique so as you can see we have all this plastic set up so then we don't get paint anywhere and then the frame hanging and then uh, I'm gonna switch to a time-lapse of that so here we go don't fuck with y'all spray paint the walls with blood and whatever drag you outside let you rot in the wet I don't think I can okay so the paint splatter is done on the main part of the frame it got it all down there and where this tape is, I don't know if you can see it right here, this is tape. We have a triangle type design on the bottom of the frame and the top tube of the frame. So there's tape also right here where there's a triangle um, design on the frame and that would that's gold underneath. So we're just going to let this dry probably gonna leave it overnight and then we can get to the actual 
chain stays and start painting those black and get those ready for the paint splatter um, paint effect as well. So, well, um, I think I'm actually, I might gloss this today. I don't know. Depends on what I get to. Okay, so we're going to gloss this after we flicked a bunch of uh, gold paint all over it. So, as you can see, it, it looks pretty good, not going to lie. A little bit excessive amount down there, but that's okay. It's fine. It makes it unique. So, um, we got all this done. Now we got to clear coat it. I'm going to have it in the back of the truck because it's actually kind of cold here in Southern California, believe it or not. So, I'm putting these in the back of the truck just to warm it up a little bit. So I'm just going to leave it back here, leave it back here, let it sit and warm up and then shake it up and then we're solid and we're ready to start spraying the gloss over this. And then probably tomorrow or the next day I'll be working on the chain stays and we'll be getting the same effect out of it as we did on the main frame. And then underneath, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but looks pretty good, not going to lie. I like the way it came out and it... Okay, so that last time lapse you saw was a um, time lapse of me doing the paint splatter, but I didn't get a time lapse of the clear coat. But the clear coat is on, if you couldn't tell. Extra glossy. There's the top tube. Super glossy. Get the flashlight on it. You can see how glossy it actually is. But yeah, so now that we have that done, we just have to wait for this to dry and then we can get our chain stays done. So all right, we'll get our chain stays done and then we'll get this all, this linkage point all painted up black and then we'll paint splatter and gloss it and then we'll be able to put the new bearings in and then put it all together. The new bearings will be in a, new, in a different video. This is just strictly paint episode. So, so next part you're gonna see is the chain stays getting paid, painted. So here we go. My purse was in hell, bro.